All right, all you comic book fans out there, we've got six comic books for you. They are roughly standard size for that era, uh, but we throw that in anyway. We're going to get all six of these. Are these ones that you're going to want to send in to get graded? Probably not. Uh, these are more reader copies, but I'm going to walk you through each one so you know what they're about, you know what's happening, you know what's going on. They will come bagged. That's how they came to us from the consigner. They may or may not come boarded. Some came with boards, some did not. If you would like us to change out those bags, because I suspect they've been there for a very long time with our consigners, um, please let us know in advance. And if you'd like some boards, we can certainly set that up for you, but just let us know ahead of time. I'm gonna walk you through. We're gonna start off with Captain America 204. This is Agron. What do you got? Some Jack Kirby in this one. Always uh, fun. I'm gonna show you the front cover as we get some photos for the catalog right here. We'll show you the back cover as well. And most places will do that. Some places will just show you the fronts, especially on uh, less, than, less than stellar copies. We'll show you the front, we'll show you the back. I'm gonna show you the little wiggle jiggle as we let the light show all the way around. So you can see these little imperfections, a slight tick here or there any little uh, creases, folds, or bends. They can't hide from the light, so we show that to you. We get all that goodness on there. I'll flip it over so we do the same on the back. And then one thing that we do that you won't see a lot of places is we will also show you a little bit of the interiors. Obviously, for many reasons, including copyright, we can't do all of the interiors, but this gives you an idea of the quality and condition of the pages. You get a chance to see a little bit of the artwork, um, what that looks like, what the quality is, what the color of the pages is, etc. as well as these fronts. Now, back in 19, what, 76, when this would have came out, young Johnny might have written his name right here, uh, drawn on the cover or on the inside here. That's the most common place for that to show up, so that's why we show you that as well. Luckily, he didn't. Well, luckily for us, for him, that would have been fun, but uh, for you, you get a nicer comic book. 205, also from 1976. A little bit more Kirby for you. We'll show you the front. We'll show you the back. And then the wiggle jiggle. There you go. We'll show you a little bit of the covers. As we go through right here. And finally, the interior. All right. And there we have, again, the front and the back. We'll get some shots of that real quick before we move on to Captain America number 206 right here. Also from, well, let's get that a shot of that real quick. That way we've got the video for you to look at how it moves. And we've got the catalog photos so you can bid on it. And these will, of course, be in our upcoming auction. You can always head on over to thebigtoyauction.com to see this and everything else we've got for you. You can leave your pre-bids right now or wait until auction day, whatever works best for you. We'll show you the front. Let me show you that back. I do like to show the back inside cover because, again, if Johnny didn't write it on the front, sometimes he writes it on the back. And again, what I just describe as uh, brown or uh, ecru or uh, white or off-white, you may disagree with. So that's why we show you this, so you can see it for yourself. See exactly how white or unwhite the pages may be. As we finish up with this one, and we move right along to number 207. This one is from 1977, The Tiger and the Swine. You got Stephen, uh, you got a Sharon Carter, rather. Layla Taylor in this one. A little bit of wear on the back there, but we'll show it to you. Something very Liefeld about this. And we put it right over on the back so you can see that as well. Let me get that shot. And we will show you the interiors. Is that for Rigno? No, I don't think it is. But that would have been his time. Again, we show you a little bit of quality and condition. Oh, look at that. And this was the 1976 King Kong. Very fun right there. The rest looking pretty good. A little wear right here. I do want to point it out because I just saw it. Do want to show you that 
What's it look like on the front? Yeah, I do want to you see just a little bit of ruffling right there. So now you see it. All right, and we're moving on to Captain America number 208, The River of Death. Let's get a shot for the catalog. You got a, ca a cameo appearance by Arnim Zola. Ooh, I don't know. Has he appeared in the uh, cin cinematic universe yet? I haven't been keeping up. We'll show you all the way along. Get that light in all the co colors. So we see a little bit of spine ticking right there. Maybe by the staple up a little bit right there. Show you on the other side as well. Usually the back cover doesn't matter as much, but could use a cleaning if you care about such things. But if you're just looking for a nice collectible bunch of comic books to read and enjoy and have in your collection, especially if you're looking for a placeholder, then this is going to be a good lot. Look at that splash page. Oh, so nice. And again, fairly clean from the front. As we move on to the last comic of this particular batch, which I think has a cameo by the Red Skull. Yes. Let's get a photo here. Very nice. Flip it over on the back. It is, of course, some Kirby. It does have that stamp right there of the, uh, from the newsstand. Which I don't think counts as a defect when grading it, but it doesn't matter because it depends on what you think it is. If you think it's a defect, then this is not one that you're going to want to get. If you think it adds character, which I do, I always like to see that. In fact, to be fair, I like it when Johnny writes his name in it. Because it means that somebody read this and loved it and had fun with it. And that is the point. As far as I think, anyway. But if you like it for uh, its pristine mint joy right now, that's fine, too. Nothing wrong with that. All right. So we'll show you the interior covers. You can see a little paint paint loss. <laughs> a little ink loss where it's starting to turn a little pink right there. Is that some foxing, maybe? I don't know. It's more pink than it is red, but you never know. Yeah, we'll flip right through these. Look at that. Finish out with those front pages. And all around, is that the Watcher? No, 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 no. That's uh, He's involved in the fight. Couldn't possibly be. And that'll finish that up. I'll show you them all one time, because that's what you're going to be getting, is this entire grouping right here. You're going to get all six comics, all for one money, all in one lot. All you have to do is head on over to thebigtoyauction.com where you can see this and all the other groupings we have for you. Leave your pre-bids right now or join us on auction day, whichever way you choose to do it. We'll see you at the auction.